Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to do markdown formatting uh, uh, for the notebook. Uh, here we have uh, our data break open. Uh, and why I want to do this? Because uh, I was creating these videos and I need to format my notebook so, so I can display the contents uh, kind of in a very neat format uh, so easy to read and all that. And I felt that this is very important uh, for everybody who want to write the notebooks for themselves and later come to it and uh, maybe have some uh, information that that has been displaying with a very nice format or, or use this for documentation as well for other developers or other maybe business users or other uh, colleagues uh, now you will go to the workspace uh, in the workspace uh, we will go to the users and uh, here is my user and uh, we have created the folder called uh, development uh, here we are going to create a new notebook uh, so let's create a new notebook and we are going to call this notebook uh, format notebook or something uh, uh, give a proper name say maybe formatting okay our notebook is ready and here uh, you are seeing that uh, we have python and uh, we have a uh, markdown and sql and scala and r as well so the python is a uh, uh, default language that we have selected here and you can select markdown here now once you collect the markdown you have all these uh, different options available to you so see right there we have uh, it says percentage uh, md so markdown and uh, now if i want to write something let's say uh, this is my youtube tutorial okay don't forget about the spelling and all that but uh, just uh, think we are going to test few things and here is uh, uh, once i hit uh, select and uh, hit h1 that's heading one and uh, then uh, click outside the cell you see that this has become my heading one same way double click inside the cell and then you can go um, this is my second heading and this is my third heading okay now if you see that uh, we have we have, i'm gonna go ahead and select h2 here and uh, then for the next one we are gonna do h3 and you see that every time i'm uh, clicking h1 h2 or h3 uh, a hash sign is coming now so for the h1 is hash sign, one hash sign uh, for uh, h2 two hash sign and for uh, h3 there are three hash signs uh, so now if i will click here this is a uh, uh, how it will be formatted uh, so you can write your headings uh, like that uh, now if you want to go ahead and uh, maybe do uh, another subheading so do for this is my test for heading okay so this will do as well and then this is my normal uh, text uh, okay so now if we click right here you can see that uh, each time you're putting one more hash uh, it is a kind of um, making the size smaller and smaller and uh, this is the actual size of the text uh, that we have uh, written inside uh, so you know that now you get the idea how to uh, write the headings uh, in the uh, notebook by using the hash signs or by using uh, these uh, uh, tabs here as well now let's go to the next topic and uh, i'm going to delete this one i will put all these notes in the description so nothing to worry about now what we want to do we want to deal with the uh, bold italic and bold and italic so you have right here so let's say this is my test for bold so you have this and then uh, uh, if you select this one and uh, click here so you see that there are two asterisks uh, so one asterisk and two asterisk here and two asterisks here so if i click outside now you can see that this is my uh, test for bold so now if I don't want to use the bold, uh, click on bold every time, I can always uh, start with asterisk, asterisk. This is uh, test two for bold. Okay, and then I can simply put asterisk, asterisk. Once I do that, and then anything outside, this is my normal text. Okay, so you see that. Uh, so we have some bold, and uh, here, this is my bold, and this is the uh, test for second bold didn't show up bold uh, and the reason i think is uh, because i have given space between the this thing so if you see right there there was a space here that uh, i am going to remove the space so now if i do that so you see right there now it is a uh, bold and you can combine the uh, different things uh, such as uh, uh, okay give some space here so if you want to give space and enter and all that so you can format the way you inside the text you know before and after you want to make something bold same way if you want to do something like a, okay let's uh, uh, this this text is italic okay now i just want to do this italic 
and I will go and say, uh, hit italic and you see that this comes uh, with the underscore and then uh, that's how you can make italic and ends with underscore as well. So now you see that this uh, text is italic. So if you don't want to uh, select every time and you want to be like underscore, this is uh, my second italic uh, example. Okay. And then uh, you can start writing. This is my, um, my normal uh, writing. Okay, so now you will see this is italic and then uh, this is not italic. So you see that. So with the underscores, uh, you can handle that. So also you have, uh, if you want to make them bold and italic at the same time, you can do that. So let's say if I will use uh, three asterisks, uh, this is bold and italic together. And then three asterisks closing. Okay, now if I do this, uh, this should do um, bold and italic. Let me see if I'm going to copy this. See right there. Okay. So see, this is bold and italic. So it works uh, somehow. Okay. This is normal text. Okay. So you put three asterisks starting and uh, three asterisks uh, at the end. And I think that should be fine. One asterisk looks a little off. Even if we don't do that, maybe it will work. No, okay. You have to have three asterisks. Even uh, uh, that color is not that. Uh, it's, uh, kind of color is a little different with asterisk for the third one, but that's fine. So now you have three asterisks so that will uh, make it bold and italic at the same time. So we learned that. Uh, I'm going to give you this summary again. So for the Sorry, bold, two asterisks for italic, even one asterisk will work or uh, underscore will work uh, uh, or underscore uh, text. That should do italic as well or three um, asterisks uh, will do bold and italic. So I will put these in the notes as well in the description. So nothing to worry. So you see that uh, uh, this uh, should do it. Okay, now we go to the next one and uh, let's say you want to make some list. Uh, what you will do with the list, uh, you have uh, this dash and they say this is uh, my list. Okay, so now you want to go maybe item one and uh, then you have uh, uh, say item two and then uh, you will hit outside and now you say that this is your list is ready. So just uh, dash and then uh, put uh, the list now if you want to make a sub list uh, that's possible too let's say for item two want to make sub category now well, you will uh, hit tab and then uh, use the same dash here and uh, say sub item two and uh, and then again dash sub item and uh, give a space between it sub item uh, two example okay now you see that uh, we have a main list here and then uh, in the we have sub list so this is how it will show up and if you want to go back to an uh, again main list and uh, hit uh, enter and backspace and here we will say one dash again and item three so and now hit enter and if you want to make sub subcategory or sub list of this uh, uh, item three you can say tab again and then a dash and space and say sub item three example okay so that should do it and hit enter. Now, once you are out, you can see this is very well formatted list example. So I have this also in the script and I will give it to you. Now, um, if uh, we want to do order list, so that's also possible. Let's say you want to do maybe um, one. This is my main list one. Okay, then I will say two. This is my main list two okay so here is one now if we want to go further inside the two and make some uh, changes there so that's also possible you will say tab and once you hit the tab uh, what's going to happen uh, you will say one dot and uh, this is sub uh, list two okay now if you do that there is a small uh, a catch here so it one two three the first two came really nice uh, and then the third one also matches with them so here it is uh, if uh, you are going to do it the space uh, between these uh, one and the uh, actual text uh, put two tab two spaces uh, 
so that should do it uh, hold on one second um, let me see so we have one tab and then uh, we say number two this is exam test okay uh, let's see what's uh, wrong maybe it's another tab here okay yeah sorry so even um, in the first list when I was showing you single tab work but with the number list uh, you have to put two tabs here so that's the it's kind of small catch here okay so let's do it another way so we have uh, number two and then uh, this is test example okay number three this is test example okay uh, one thing uh, you notice uh, uh, this has two spaces this is one space so this space doesn't really matter because I, I was confused it's like you know I forgot uh, and uh, actually there are two tabs are important here so let's go back to the main list now I, if I hit uh, backs here and I'm at number three this is uh, third main okay now if I want to make the sub list of this uh, then I have to click tab twice and then now I'm fine this is uh, sub 3 okay and then I can go this is sub 3 okay again so hit enter and now if we'll hit outside this is well formatted uh, number order list you know so uh, two tabs just remember two tabs after the main and then you will be fine for the just simple list only one tab is fine okay now what we will do we'll uh, go further down and then uh, take a look uh, how to put the links uh, sometime you want to add some text and links uh, so that is a uh, very easy what you will do you will paste something like this so here you will put uh, in the square brackets you put the text uh, uh, that you want to show and then uh, in the small brackets uh, you will put the actual link uh, so that's uh, how it was going to work once you put that it's going to show you the link right there once we click here it will open that link uh, now that is uh, so square brackets around the actual text uh, and then small parentheses uh, around the actual link uh, right next to it and uh, that will uh, do it now let's go ahead and uh, sometime we need to create the tables and that's also very easy so for creating table you will start with pipe sign and they say like data column one let's say column one column one then you say another column column two and then uh, you will say hit enter and then uh, say data one and uh, then uh, data two so and maybe data three data two data three okay so that should simply uh, let's uh, I think I missed one thing um, yeah so once you do this one what you will do also you will put a line between it so here just provide a line here and uh, then uh, that should do it so these are the just dashes and that will take care of this so if I click right there now the our table is ready so you see that it's very simple you start with pipe sign and then uh, uh, you have column column 2 and then uh, you have uh, this line uh, right there and then uh, you can uh, put the, your data there so you don't have to format exactly like uh, if uh, this uh, uh, pipe signs are uh, well formatted in like uh, right next to each other they look fine if uh, you want to put it uh, you know but uh, in case you don't uh, still it will work uh, just fine so it will be formatted now this is how you will put the tables now if you want to put some code block in it and uh, that's often we have to do that and uh, for that one uh, you are going to use uh, this example and here you will say use let's say this code and uh, then we will put this code uh, between two of these uh, characters uh, these characters uh, on the same key where tilde is uh, so if you uh, you hit uh, this is a uh, uh, right there if you shift tilde so you see that that's uh, the sign of tilde this is a character and this one are on the same key so you don't have to hit shift this is a actually far most uh, left uh, key on top of the keyboard uh, that's the character right there so if you put that one around the code 
and that this is going to show as a inline code block so if you will click on outside you will see their code use uh, this is showing you code in inline code and then you are good to go okay now what we'll do we'll go with the next one and sometimes we have to use the the highlight notes and all those kind of things so we can use that one as well so let's say uh, i'm writing this document uh, and i said okay heading this is a tutorial document okay this is my heading and then uh, i start writing this is my first video notes and then i want to highlight something uh, very important uh, what i can do i can use uh, this uh, uh, grid and sign and then uh, write that note uh, um, PySpark tutorial is important for data engineers okay and then I come down and then keep writing uh, this is a, a second page of my document so you see that this is what I would like to highlight so see right there this comes very clear and the uh, spice park is tutorial is very important for data engineers so by using uh, these uh, uh, grid and sign uh, you will uh, uh, put the uh, uh, highlight notes so start with that one if you want to do another one you can always go ahead and this is second line okay and uh, then uh, click right there and you see there this is second line so you can put a space and uh, go to next lines and all that so if you want to go to next line hit enter and now it should be on two lines so okay great so we have that one task list uh, yep i think we are good and if we want to uh, put some time image also it's right there as well so but uh, just want to show you the example so you will uh, uh, start with the explanation mark and, uh, and then uh, you have uh, actually just uh, given the name or text uh, to that uh, image and uh, then uh, provide the hyperlink for that image so once you do that uh, it's going to show you the uh, image also you can uh, if you double click here and you don't want to use this whole thing by and you have image here as well so if you go to the markdown here and then uh, here is the image and you see that the, it already created this code for you just write this is my image and then provide the path you know so you don't have to remember everything and also for the hyperlink uh, or link uh, it is there as well i hope this video will help you to format your notebooks and uh, make it more easy to read i thank you very much for watching this one and next uh, video we will uh, uh, work on the data frames uh, uh, please subscribe my channel if you uh, like my videos and I will see you guys in the next.